How's it going YouTube? Chris here at my own theater. Got a brand new video for you today. Just want to cover some things that I've been working on and some things I've been waiting on. And uh, just want to kind of give an update on some of this stuff. Uh, one of the things uh, that I picked up the weekend was this little Baby Yoda here. Man, I've been looking for one for decorations for my room. Got a lot of Star Wars stuff in here. I'm a real big Star Wars fan. Love Baby Yoda, love the Mandalorian. So I've been kind of looking for one that looked really nice. Found this in at Target for 25 bucks. Could not pass it up. It's real detailed on the eyes and the ears. And, uh, and then it's got a nice uh, costume for it. I, I couldn't pass that up. I wanted to kind of show y'all guys that, see what you think about that. Uh, one of the other things that I've been looking for was a pretty nice laser disc player. It's just nostalgic. I like, I like the laser disc. I've covered that in another video. Use it for decoration. Uh, the laser disc player that I had, it bit the dust. So I've been looking for another one. So I, I found a Pioneer Elite. Real nice player, I think. In 91 when it sold, it was well over $1,000. Maybe $1,300, $1,400. It had rosewood sides. Beautiful player. The guy guaranteed it. Got it home. Plugged it up. Could not get no sound. Tried it in the theater room here. Took it in my living room. Got an older Yamaha. Uh, my living room system, it's an 11.2 system, but it's kind of in a transition right now. I sold my receiver to help fund this room. But I had an old Yamaha 5.1, hooked it up. Still couldn't get no sound. The guy's gonna take it back. So that didn't work out. But also, uh, he had a lot of laser discs for sale. And I wanna share some of the laser discs that I picked up I mean, I picked up a lot for a dollar, some for nine dollars. So let me show you what I got. First one I want to show is Braun, Braun Stoker's Dracula. This is brand new, sealed up in the pack, never been opened. I'm really excited about that. I may even, I think I even have this one, but I don't have it in the not been opened. And I paid nine dollars for that. I think that was a good deal. Uh, this other one I paid a dollar for is Braveheart, Mel Gibson's Braveheart. I really like this movie. The jacket on this one is phenomenal. It looks brand new. See, we got the little papers and stuff inside there. That's just a real good looking, uh, I can use it for a display item. They got this on 4K, but uh, I just I just like these movies. I picked up this one, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Really love this movie, but I like the, like the laser disc. Definitely wanted to pick that one up. I think I paid, paid four bucks for it. Can't beat it. Here's another one. I wish they'd bring this one out on 4K. Total Recall. I like this movie. Not a real big fan of the remake, but I really like the, the original one here. I paid a dollar for that. And for all you Trekkie fans, I got Star Trek The Motion Picture. Paid a dollar for it. Thought it opened, it don't open. I really like that movie. Uh, probably the best movie in the series, the old Star Trek is The Wrath of Khan. I absolutely love this movie. And uh, I was able to get it, got it for a dollar. And uh, one of the most popular ones in the series is this one. It's The Voyage Home, I guess because of the whales and stuff. I like the movie, not my favorite, but I got it for a dollar. Can't complain with it. So then we'll go to the newer ones. Star Trek Generations. Really liked this version of it. I enjoyed the show when it was on TV. Paid a dollar for it. It was real good. And then the last one that I got was The Borg. It was First Contact. That was a pretty good movie. Also, like I said, I enjoyed that. So that was my little excursion the weekend, picking up some things. Now to cover some things I've been waiting on. As you can see right here, Here's my 50 foot RCA cables. I got to run these in my, in my attic space, in the ceiling, got to come down the wall. And uh, this is for my subwoofer. Been waiting on this thing about two weeks. And uh, man, it just took forever to get here. The FedEx man, and they called, they said, they weren't gonna deliver anything else to my house. They are terrified of my dog. I don't know what they did to my dog, but I think he's, he's nipped at him a few times. And uh, they said they weren't going to deliver anything else to my house, but they, they brought it today. But uh, been waiting on that. I can get this thing tied up with these subwoofers, get these things set up. Uh, trying to, oh, 
when I was looking around my building out there, I found, found these in the box that I had. These are the Star Wars original trilogy on, on VHS. The outer, I don't remember where I got these from, but uh, the outer box is kind of messed up a little bit, but the inner box, the, the individual boxes, they look, I mean, they look like brand new. So I'm gonna use that for a display item. I just, I like, I just, I like Star Wars. And I, and I like using stuff like this for display items. Any kind of movies, anything like that. I, I'm, a, I'm a movie collector. I like, and I had a lot of movies and I got rid of and I, and I really regret it. Wish I still had them. But I'm trying to build a little collection back. Uh, one of the other things that I was waiting on was what I was gonna do to my screen. So I had a way that I was going to lift my screen and it was going to hold the screen. Really don't want to, I really hate to say a whole lot about it because nobody else has done it. But the items that I was going to purchase, I kept putting it off, putting it off, and now they're out of stock. So that has been delayed for a little while. Uh, I may just go ahead and put shocks up on, on the screen like, you know, like uh, uh, youth man's. I may go ahead and do the shops like that. That was my original plan, but I had something I wanted to do a little bit different. Same concept, but different. So I don't know when that stuff's gonna be back in. I really need something to hold the screen up. So I may do that and uh, at, uh, real soon. So what I did is I've been wanting a, a Logitech remote. I ordered a Logitech uh, Harmony Elite remote today, and it'll be coming in hopefully by the end of the week. Got a really good deal on it. I uh, ordered it as a refurbished item. I don't mind buying refurbished. I'll buy a refurbished open box. I'll do anything to save a dollar on this stuff because, <laughs> I mean, I'm having to fund this. So uh, I will buy anything that's, that's cheap. And if it ain't right, I'll send it back. So when it comes in, I'll, I'll show that. And uh, I bought it off eBay. And uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens on that deal. Now I want to talk about some movies. Now, I went to Charlotte, North Carolina over the weekend. I'm about an hour and a half from Charlotte, North Carolina. I live in South Carolina, if, if you guys don't know. I'm in South Carolina. I am two hours from Myrtle Beach, hour and a half from Charlotte, two hours from Columbia. I'm kind of in a central location. So I, I always go to Charlotte and look for stuff. So I went to Best Buy. They have no movies, absolutely no movies. My local Walmart, about two, about two miles from Walmart, my local Walmart, I ain't had no movies in a while. And what I mean by no movies is like any kind of older catalog movies that has been coming out or anything new. They hadn't really a whole lot of new stuff coming out. So I'm looking for some movies to review. Uh, I want to get Spartacus for me. I don't know if I'll review that movie. I ain't been able to find it. So kind of the next thing that's coming up is uh, uh, Pitch, Dark Pitch or whatever. I can't remember the name of it. It's one that's got Vin Diesel in it. I know it's coming out in a couple of weeks. It and Flash Gordon. I may review both of those movies because uh, I do want to try to get on the ball on doing movie reviews. Uh, but if there's anything else that y'all guys would like for me to review, Hey, drop a comment in the in the in the comments below, and uh, if I got the movie here, I'll I'll uh, I'll do it. I got about 300 uh, 4K Blu-ray movies, three to 400 movies, so uh, I got a few movies, older movies, you know. So if there's anything I got, let's let's drop a comment below, and uh, but we'll try to get something going here real soon. Uh, I know everybody else will be doing reviews before I do. I don't order the movies. I don't get them in ahead of time. Uh, when they come out, I try to go to my local stores and pick them up. If I can't get them, it takes me a little while. So everybody else might review a movie before me, but I'll do it. Got an idea of how I'm going to do the movie reviews. Uh, I got my system in here with a projector. I always use 4K movies in this theater. Now, I have a 4K Blu-ray player, I got a X800 Sony, and, but my projector is 1080p. It's an Epson 5025UB. So I use a 4K movie because most, 
you know, you're gonna get the good sound DTSX or IMAX enhanced or, or Atmos. You can get Atmos on some Blu-rays, but for the most part, I'm gonna use a, uh, for this room, uh, I'm gonna use a 4K move, but it's gonna down convert it to uh, 1080p. Now, my living room, uh, like I say, my 11.2 system is not up and running right now because I sold my receiver. But I do have a Samsung 65 inch Q6 uh, QLED TV. So I can do reviews. I can do the sound for this room. I can do the Blu-ray for this room. I can do the 4K. I, 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 there's different ways that I kind of got it worked out. And once I get my uh, 11.2 systems running in my living room, I can actually do a what, what I would call would be a normal living room review. So you, I would I could do it both ways. So I'll have a uh, which will be normal. Everybody said everybody don't have a dedicated home theater room. So I could do a, a review for like a living room. I can give both both sides of it. I can give you room for uh, like for the home theater and then for the living room. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Uh, you guys can let me know below what you think. I mean I I mean I can take a movie and I can watch it over a two or three day period and I can give you what I think pros and cons even of a listening to in a home theater and listening to in a living room different setups seating positions everything is totally different so that's just what i was thinking about doing you guys let me know what you think what you think about stuff that picked up a little weekend what you think about little baby yoda here really like him but i hope everybody has a good week and we we still trying to give away this uh you mic 661 subscribers as of right now got a few more subscribers over the weekend past couple of days i appreciated everybody man there's been people that's been with me <clears throat> since day one some of my first subscribers thank you for sticking it out with me and bearing my my uh my videos and stuff i appreciate it but i hope everybody has a good week and we'll see you again real